Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I will discuss about the usage of pivot tables in project management. It's a very broad topic in Microsoft Excel. In the meantime, it's a very useful tool as well. In project management, the pivot tables can come in handy and useful when there is a lot of data that we are dealing with. For example, in this video, I will teach you how to create pivot tables and pivot charts using your existing data. In here, I have a list of projects, and for each project, I have the planned costs, actual costs, planned percentage completion, actual percentage completion in each month. Remember that you can use pivot tables for big data. Compared to the data that you can analyze using pivot tables, I have a very little amount of data here, but it will be sufficient for you to understand the creation of pivot tables and pivot charts. So let's get started. For example, I have projects A, B, C, and D, and their progress is tracked for months January, February, March, up to May. Their planned costs and actual costs for each month is given and their planned percentage completion and actual percentage completion for each month is given. If you and your team want to see this data from another perspective, that's when the pivot tables come in handy. In order to create a pivot table, select all the table including the headers. Then go to insert, go to pivot table, click pivot table from the drop-down menu. We have pre-selected our table and range. If you haven't selected it, you can select it from here. By clicking to that point and selecting all the area up to here, click this. Next thing they are going to ask you, choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. New worksheet, existing worksheet. Let's say new worksheet. Click OK. So at the first, something like this will appear. Until you choose fields from here to be represented in your report. For example, I'm selecting the project name and bringing it to row label. So my projects will be shown in rows. Next, for example, I'm taking the months. So the values for each month of each project should be shown to me. So now, which values do I want to show in my pivot table? For example, I have planned costs. I'll drag down planned costs to the values here. I have actual costs. I'll drag them down to the values here. Here. I have the pivot table, each project, the months, and the sum of planned costs, sum of actual costs, and everything is shown. In here, if you select, for example, only project A, okay, you can see only project A. For example, if you go for project B only, you will see only project B. In the meantime, for example, you want to go to months and see the expenses only for month January, it will show project B for January. For example, I want to see all the projects for January. From here, I will select all the project names and OK. So for January month, it will show you the expenses for all the projects, the sum of planned costs in this month and the sum of actual costs in this month. Next thing is, for example, I want to see the months on my timeline on the horizontal axis, just select the month and move it to the column labels. So pivot tables allows you to represent your information the way you like them. You can select, for example, the planned completion and take it to values as well. It will be shown there. If you want to remove it, just remove the tick mark from here. Next interesting thing about this is the slicers. For example, let's insert slicer. Slicers for what do you need? For example, I want a slicer for my project name and then I want a slicer for month name. I'll take both of them and click OK. So these two things appear. 
what do these buttons do? For example, if I select only project A and all the months are select, it will show the amount of expenses only for project A throughout from its start till its end. For example, if I select all the months, all the projects, and select only month February, it will show, it will show the expenses for all the projects only in the month of February. So this is what slicers do. If you want to create dashboards for your project or portfolio program management, this will come in handy. Next thing in pivot tables is the pivot charts. If you click here, pivot table tools, click the pivot chart, for example, columns, we'll select it. As you can see here, what does this represent? Let me just adjust these a bit. So, next thing is the pivot chart. For example, in this pivot chart here, which you obviously can format from uh, here, you can format it, you can change the colors and everything, you can change the name of access and everything that you want, as we did in other charts. For example, I want to see only project A for all the months. We'll click project A only here. The pivot table will be updated as well. If this is your dashboard and you want to show your uh, senior management, for example, you want to select project B for all the months and project C for all the months, they can see all the data needed by one click of yours. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand the pivot tables and how to create them. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you very much for watching.